In this video, I'm going to show you a route that has been a legacy route in Madden. It's been one of the best routes in Madden every single year, and it is now really, I think, one of the best routes in the game. This is a concept that we actually started in the Madden community running out of Gun Bunch, but you can actually run this out of the Trips Tied In, I think even better, um, and I'm going to talk about it in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, not just trips that in. We've got over 25 different ebooks that you're going to get access to by becoming a Patreon member today. You can sign up by clicking the link in the description below. And again, $10 gets you access to everything over there, as well as all the stuff we're doing to prepare for Madden 23. We're in Trips Tied In. This is in the uh, Lions playbook. You can find this play also in the Patriots playbook. Some people that run Trips Tied In like Patriots. If you want to audible around a little bit more, you might like Lions. Um, but here it is. So, so here's the route that I really want to talk about. And it is this route out of PA Shot Post. Now, there is so much value in this play as it puts together within one route uh, or one sequence one of the best route combos in Madden for any defense that you're going to face match zone man anything and it's all centered around this s post route now at the beginning of the year the s post route wasn't super good because it didn't get consistent man-to-man -man separation but i'm here to tell you that it does get a pretty good man-to-man uh, -man separation as of as of right now so what we're going to do is i like to smart route the route you don't have to but i like to smart route it just get it go a little bit shallower um, and what this does is it gives us from the outside trips receiver a backbreaker route that people are going to have to start to respect. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end. Um, and then we've got play action, which is the best. This is actually the best form play action because if we slide our line, you'll notice they actually slide. Not every play action is created equal. Okay. And then also um, we're going to take this, this backside receiver and you can kind of do whatever you want. If you think it's man coverage. I would put him on a slant route. If you think it's zone, I would put him on an in route. So kind of up to you. Um, but main coverage, you put this guy on a slant, you can motion him, snap him really wherever you want over here. But what you're going to see is a couple things. So this route to Carmichael um, is really good. That's crazy that that just happened. Um, but this hopefully that will get double me unactivated. Uh, but this route to Carmichael is really good against both man and zone coverage. Now what the tight end route is designed to do is it's designed to clear out space from any deep defender so that we can throw underneath any deep defender. So you'll see see right here how it lights up. If you freeform that inside, a lot of times you can just pass like that inside and you get that catch animation against press man. We know in this year's game that press man is really not the best form of man, um, specifically with short out elite being popular and all that. So I do want to show you kind of off coverage. And this is where I actually think the route is much better um, in terms of its ability to beat man consistently. So here we go. And what you're going to see is, see how he gets that light up animation and then he'll just roast him and you can freeform that all the way across. It's one of those deeper post routes that allows you um, freeform ability uh, against man coverage, whether it's off coverage or not. Um, now, it will take a little bit of time to kind of get used to that, but another thing that you have um, that is actually super underrated is this wheel route. Um, right off the snap, if I freeform this outside, you get that break tackle animation, super effective. One thing you can also do that will allow you to throw that wheel route a little bit faster um, is to block your running back. So basically, instead of running the play action, we're still getting the play action blocking concept, but now we're gonna block the running back so that we can throw the ball like right off a snap. You see how good that is against off coverage man because a lot of times you're gonna get that tackle battle um, that is, is really not the best form. Now, let's say they did something, let's just say hypothetically, they do a concept that looks something like this where they're gonna press everybody but the outside receiver. Um, you actually see that some in this year's game or they're gonna do something like you know off man or whatever. But anyway, if you watch, if I get this snap throw, that typically will beat it. Now, if they have a short route knockout or whatever, that's one thing. Um, this route destroys zone, which I'm going to get to in a minute, but I did want to show. Um, so you saw the the, the wheel is, is is a very a very much so potential snap throw. You also have a high ball if you get a one-on-one -on -one situation with the tight end, and you have this slant. But the real route, like I said, is this, um, this S post. Now, right there, you see that he cut in front of him. What you want to do against off coverage is you're looking for a window to throw the ball against off coverage man. 
sometimes that window is going to be inside sometimes it's or sometimes it's going to be early sometimes it's going to be late okay um and that's kind of honestly that's just how post routes work this year but you can throw this like kind of right in there i threw that just a little bit too late basically you throw it right on the cut because when he takes that initial cut inside it's almost like a better form of a slant route and it will beat me in uh pretty 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 well um and then they're going to have to press, and when they press, this becomes even better. So, again, throw, we're kind of running here, then you're going to cut it off. I don't know why I can't use or catch, but anyway, uh, you're going to cut that off before the man coverage gets there. So, a great example of this would be, let's say they're doing this cross man stuff that everybody likes to do, where we're going to have basically like a bracket concept over here with maybe a third to stop the C route or whatever. Now what you're going to notice is when they start to go to this kind of cross man style of coverage, this can actually be very effective. So you're going to see here because he breaks later on in the route, you throw inside, you're going to click on, you're just going to ag in front of the ball basically. Okay. Now that same type of ag method will also work for zone coverage. So let's say they're running like cover four. I think cover four is the best coverage for this play and this play destroys cover four. Or really any zone this play is gonna they have to use or the route so you're gonna see right here he's gonna break inside and then you're just gonna throw an inside pass lead you're gonna click on you're gonna ag it and run back to the middle of the field and as you can see that the ko can't knock the ball out um this is also really good it's actually better against cover three because what will happen um against cover three is the third defender will basically come inside so you see right here, see how there's all this pocket right here? This is due to the wheel route pulling that outside third to the outside. So the wheel route is pulling the outside third to the outside. Simultaneously, the, the, the tight end is po pulling the middle third defender uh, basically right up the middle. So let me show it to you out of a coverage like this. And let's put like a little roll concept with a vert hook and all that. This will kind of help show this uh, power of this play again zone and again they're going to have to use of the slant um typically they're going to want to go use that slant route and then you can throw this post look at look at all the space here to be able to throw that in that little pocket against cover three so it's super good against cover three and then if it's a traditional cover two um so let's say maybe they're doing like a little double mabel cover two concept they do the mid read won't go to that i'll show that in a second but basically you're going to get kind of the same action because this wheel route really does a good job of pulling this half defender so the half defender has to go outside now he does get matched by a vertical hook but that leaves the slant route wide open underneath if they most people aren't going to have a vertical hook to be honest if they do have a vertical hook typically he's not going to match him um, because if they have a mid read defender the mid read will go um, or most people just don't play with matching vert hooks in this year's game if they do okay good good play by them i'll show you something else we can do with this but as you can see i mean this guy's wide open over the middle of the field now let's say that um you know let's say that you do play someone and they, and they have that vertical hook concept specifically against zone and they're usually in the middle of the field so the only way to get the vert hooks to match is to take the mid read off the field so they can't have a mid read on the field for the vert hook to match watch what eric berry can do here on the sideline late against a double mabel you're going to free form up and outside and as you can see this just cooks the deep half over the top of the over the top of the coverage so you have an answer for that you have pretty much an answer for everything they're going to try to do to you um defensively now if they send five okay let's say they send five well we're in a play action we're blocking our running back okay so we're going to have decent protection and then remember the window that we're going to get against the send five that wheel route pulls out that outside third you throw that right in that little pocket and you see how good that is against zone coverage now i did want to return to main coverage just a little bit here at the end of the video and i want to show you one last thing again if they're playing you in off coverage a lot of times they shade outside. If they do shade outside um, because they're trying to stop a C route on that left side, that really will help this route a lot um, because what you'll see is this is a throwable ball over the middle. When he does that last kind of jerky cut inside, it might look covered, but generally speaking, it's going to be open. Again, another thing that you can do as we talked about um, beforehand is you can you can throw this, this route on the first cut inside so as soon as you see man you can snap almost snap throw it out there to him and you have a pretty good chance of being able to cut it off an ag this is all around utilizing the ag catch uh with this so right there boom cut it off ag
just like that. That's the idea with the with the off coverage man. If you want to take advantage of it, but a lot of people, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are going to go to a coverage that basically looks something like this, where they're going to have bracket coverage on the tight end, and then they're going to have a linebacker or something manned up. If they go to this bracket concept, this is actually better for this route because now I can cut it off, and you see how that guy just does dumbs out every single time. So this is one of my fa my new favorite plays uh, in the game because it just attacks every coverage. I don't know of a coverage they can call that is going to be really uh, consistent against it. And please don't sleep on the fact that you have that snap throw wheel route um, to the left side that really completes the play um, because it perfects the spacing on the play. Um, because now we have a significant threat um, against any kind of double flat, double Mabel coverage. If they blitz us, he's going to open up pockets. Right, but look at this deep bomb against cover two that you have. You have that that deep uh, wheel route basically wide open. I'm going to send five here just to showcase uh, what can be possible with this. But but basically, if you can get just a little bit of time, this this wheel route is going to be a touchdown. So you see here we block, okay, give ourselves some time, freeform that up and outside. And again, that's practice most sheds. But typically, because typically you're going to get that wheel route over the top of that cover two defender. Let me show it to you one more time because you don't, it's it's not, it doesn't actually take as long to get open as you might think because you're freeforming and lobbing it up and over the deep half. So what you'll see here is right about there, I'm freeforming it up and over and you see how that deep half can't get out there because he has to respect the inward breaking action that is the post route. Now, the thing that we didn't even get into um too much in this is what if the user bails to the post? If the user bails to the post, the game gets really simple for you. All you're doing, he bails the post, I'm throwing right in this pocket just like that. And that is why that slant, you could put him on an in route, you could put him on a drag route, whatever you wanna do. I mean, another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could do something like this where you utilize a motion streak, which I rarely do. Um, but you'll see right here that this tight end route, he can beat man coverage pretty well. And then look at that. I mean, look at the post route just working over the middle. Super effective route. I think something that a lot of people have really slept on this year is these S post routes. There's a lot you can do with them. Um, you can throw them right on. The, they always get this inside leverage. And if you're good at user catching, they become a very, very valuable route in your offense because th there's not a zone in the game that can guard it. Um, there's literally not a zone in the game that can guard it. That is really the value, I think, because when you pair this with a streak and a wheel route, it pulls the zones and you can throw in windows that you otherwise couldn't throw um, because of what the spacing of trips tied in and the routes that you actually have uh, do really well at attacking this. So look at this cover three beater, just boom, right in that little pocket. And it's really hard to play cover three, cover two against this. You have to play cover four if you're going to play zone. And if you play cover four, it's really not like, let me show you one last thing here. Um, if they walk these guys down, let's say against a cover four scenario, they're going to use the slant route over the middle, right? If they do those things, the walk down is going to be the best, te uh, the best thing they have going. But you're still getting this sharp break over the middle where you can cut off the route and ag back to the ball. One of my favorite all-time routes in Madden. That's probably one of my, probably my favorite route in the game ever um, is this S-post route. And if you learn how to utilize these routes combined with these quick throw wheels and motion slants and all that, your offense is going to go to a whole nother level. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to everything everything over there all of our ebooks all of our updates everything that we're doing to prepare for madden 24 it's all in the patreon ten dollars and i guarantee you're going to become a better madden player the link to sign up for that is down in the description so head down to the description and go check out the patreon page